one. Okay, welcome my students. Welcome to another live session with our wonderful and wise Brad. Hi, Brad. Hello. Hi, how are you? <laughs> Good. And I'm Ellie, for those that are new to the channel. Um, there we go. <laughs> now you can see both of us. Um, <laughs> as I was saying, I'm Ellie, and today we're going to be talking about you s fun facts and uh, this was a, a requested video right brad yes uh one of our viewers zach in the u.s said uh he wanted to see more of the states because we didn't cover all of them so <laughs> we're gonna try to cover some more today well thanks for the uh, the request and we are going to cover as many as possible today we did about 16 i think last time I remember correctly and and there are 50 states so we're going to try to do as many as possible if not there might be a part three oh. <laughs> indeed uh, <laughs> let's see you'll see the screen in I, I always say this to my students when i'm pulling up the screen you'll see the screen in five four three two one I see the screen. The screen now. Yay. <laughs> okay. So we're, we're also mentioning flags as well here. So you'll see the you'll see the flags. I did a video on flags and states and capitals, and I will post the link in the description box below. So if you're interested in knowing more about the flags and what the flags say, some of them have writing um on them and and i've done a video on the explanation of the flags and capitals and all the states and it'll be in the description box below so our first one is alabama and i'm going to do these in order this time in alphabetical order um the capital is montgomery have you ever been to alabama i have not the furthest yeah. south that i was i've been in the u.s was walt disney world in florida so. florida <laughs> yeah. And as I think I said in episode one, I barely remember. I just remember I was at Walt Disney World. Mm. I, I, I've i been to the one in Florida as well. Yeah. And massive. I mean, I think if you, you spend a week there, you still might not be able to see everything that's there. I mean. But you won't have any money anymore. So there's that. True. True. If you could go there with out that restriction is as much money as you had you know if you had a lot of money or won the lottery <laughs> mm -hmm. i still think a week would not be enough time mm -mm. all right so what should we know about alabama Ellie? <laughs> well uh, yellow hammer is the nickname it's also uh the heart of dixie there's a song that goes deep in the heart of dixie right there there a song? yep i don't know the I don't know. Who I've also heard it. a version about Texas. So, but you know, songs uh, are hard text. Maybe that's what I'm thinking. Well, of. I mean, songs that's... are, uh, you know, people like to rewrite them. Like for example, uh, the <laughs> East German Anthem, a little off cop content, but it is yeah. worded so it can go with both the original song and the West German songs. So you can sing the same lyrics to either Anthem. So right. and, sometimes and... people like to do that. Yeah, and I'm the type of person who will hear a song and think I'm hearing other words. <laughs> and my friends will say, that's not what they're saying. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, there's there's a song that goes one bourbon, one scotch, one beer. And I thought this guy wanted Burbank, California, a guy named Scott and a beer. But to be <laughs> fair, I was like eight or nine years old. Okay. So who is this? Yeah. Yeah, I do the same thing, though. Mm-hmm um so the, it's the birthplace of the civil rights movement and alabama played a significant role in the civil rights movement of the 1950s and 1960s montgomery the cat which is the state capital was where rosa park famously refused to give up her seat on a segregated bus sparking the montgomery bus boycott mm -hmm. yeah this was a, during the time when uh blacks had to sit in the back of the bus and uh they weren't allowed to sit up front mm -hmm. and rosa parks uh defiantly sat up front in mm -hmm. the in what they call the white section yep 
Yeah, and this is a picture of her, by the way. This is her um, Being mugshot, booked. I guess. Yeah, yeah mugshot is, is the word I was thinking, yep. thinking of. Uh, she's being booked and <laughs> she she looks like she's saying really <laughs> i mean i would be too but um she's got that look of like really is this really necessary for being on the you know wrong side of the bus in your eyes i think she looks more kind of amused too but uh, yeah. I, i'm sure like she had a lot of different con emotions at the time oh i'm sure i'm sure okay so that was all right back. Alaska. This is one place I'd like to go to. I know it's very mm -hmm. cold for the most part. It's just, mm -hmm. but I, I would love to go to Alaska. Now, the the flag has the Big Dipper on it, and it's said that if you find the Big Big Dipper, you'll find the North Star. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I'm. I'm Alaris. Sure yeah. That's supposed to be the the North Star. And the capital is? Juno. Juno. Yep. Fun fact. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so fun fact is uh, it's the last frontier. It's the largest state in the U.S. We'll talk about the smallest state in the U.S. later. Mm -hmm. uh, but Alaska is the largest. And it actually became the 49th state um, to enter January 3rd, 1959. And... Uh, yeah, it, it's called the last frontier because of its remote and rugged wilderness. Um, I mean, I think that's one of the reasons why I'd like to go there, just to see that, to to be a to be there and 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 see the wild life there, and uh, maybe see actual peng penguins in their natural environment. I don't know if I want to see a polar bear though. <laughs> penguins. Penguins. Polar bears. There you go. Yeah, I think you mean polar bears. Yeah. Um, well, I mean, they, there's a reason why they call it called it Seward's Folly. After the foreign minister that bought it from Russia, Americans thought it's just a big chunk of land. Why do we mm. need this? And then there was a lot of oil there. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Well, I, I, I know that uh, there was a fight over that piece of land. And... Uh... U.S. one. Oh, okay. do you know? Do you know what? What? So, forty ninth. What was the fiftieth one? The last In Hawaii, one. Hawaii, I would think. Hawaii, yeah, it was Hawaii. Okay, Arkansas. Mm -hmm. Little Rock is the capital. Little Rock, Arkansas. Mm -hmm. I've been there. I've been there. Okay. Uh, so it's a natural state. It's called the natural state or the land of opportunity. So that's where all the opportunity in America is. It's, it's yeah. only Arkansas. Got it. It, it's a, it's, it has Hot Springs National Park, and it has natural hot springs that um, Native American tribes was, was revered by them. And have you ever been to a hot spring? Um, I don't think so. No. Have I you? Have. I okay. have. Okay. Uh, I actually went, <laughs> I went to one in Costa Rica. I don't think I've been to one in the U S but I've been to one in, in Costa Rica mm -hmm. and, uh, it was nice. It was amazing. It was amazing to feel that the water was so warm it was that, that, you know, hot springs, it's a good name for it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, so it's, it's known as the natural state due to its stunning natural landscapes. But it's also called sometimes called the diamond state there is a park um that it's called the crater of diamond state park where people are allowed to mine for diamonds you can actually go and you know dig up the ground and look for di diamonds wow yeah I, I feel like that would end badly here take these sharp items and go look <laughs> for things that make you really rich yeah in and in a big hole yeah i, I that'll end well yeah it'll be fine well it, it it's it's it, it would be something to do on a saturday <laughs> but it looks Go like with the neighbors then beat up the neighbors when they find a big diamond yeah sure i guess yeah. well i don't think the diamonds in this area that they're mining are 
majorly big or anything. I think valuable, just, yeah. Yeah, uh, they've got some nice sized ones, but I, I wouldn't think you'd become a billionaire. Unlike <laughs> Sam Walton, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I would go there. I think that would be something fun to do, just to just out of curiosity. But I think uh, I would have issue with wanting to stay longer if I didn't find something, though. Oh, come on, there's got to be something here. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay, next date is Colorado, Denver, Colorado. It's Denver. Yeah. <laughs> what? Not so, very impressed, Stelly. No. no. Well, yeah, actually, I've been I've been to Denver. Okay. I, I it was it was okay. I uh, went through it. it got some impressive mountains. <laughs> it, it it was nice. Okay. <laughs> nice weather. Nice weather. Loved the Fair weather. Enough. Yeah. Fair enough. Yeah. Uh, continental state, home to the highest paved road in North America. Yeah. Rocky Mountains, mm-hmm. Mount Evans, seen it. it. It's very mountainous, and that was beautiful. And if you like driving through mountains, <laughs> I, I, well, I mean, I, I don't even have a driver's license, so uh, I, I guess riding through mountains would be my option. Yeah, I don't have a driver's license either. Um, yeah, I, I tried to get, renew mine online, and they wouldn't let me. So mine expired, ah. unfortunately uh craft beer i'm not a beer drinker either but um Mm -hmm. yeah it's uh napa valley of beer the famous do you ski or do you know how to ski or did you no yeah no i i'm not big on falling off mountains so uh, (laughs) i used to ski but i had a, a terrible accident and tore up my knee um, exactly. So a, That's why I don't skip. Uh, yeah, I've got a couple pins in my knee, and yeah. No, no, I don't want to be that casual. Oh, I have things in my knee. Yeah, yeah, it's not fun. No, I know. That's why I don't want to do it. Ah, yes, <laughs> Connecticut. Connecticut. They have Hartford. A pretty, pretty flag, grapes on. Yeah, it. And, and Hartford. Yeah. I went through Hartford all the time, going to New York or going uh, to college in Pennsylvania. Went through there all the time. Mm-hmm. See, now you don't sound very impressed. <laughs> no, I just, you know, I, I mean, I never really went into Hartford. I just remember going through it. It was just kind of like a, a way stop. I was more excited to see New Haven because it meant I was an hour from New York. Nah. Uh, fun fact. Mm. Constitution State, Nutmeg State, home to the first hamburger. Mm. Huh. I thought that was interesting. I like hamburgers. One, yeah, it was served in 1895. And actually, this is, I guess, the restaurant that served it. Looks like it's still there, yeah. Yeah, yeah still there. Still kicking. <laughs> I don't eat hamburger anymore. Oh. We're, we're a vegetarian family now. Well, I'm, I'm more pescatarian. I still eat fish. But yeah, we don't, we don't eat meat. No. One, of my, one of my good friends is a pescatarian. And I, and I usually tell him, you don't know what you're missing without burgers. And he's just like, yeah, I get that a lot. Well, I used to. Um, but now our family's vegetarian. Well, my husband's always been vegetarian, so. <laughs> <laughs> Delaware. Delaware. Dover. Mm-hmm. Dover. I, I, I've not been to Dover. I just like how they're like, yeah, put the date on it. It'll be fine. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it was the first state. Diamond State was the first yeah. of the original 13 colonies. So I think they must have some. What, it, what, what I find funny is my European friends always laughed when, laugh when they say, well, that's the oldest. No, it's not the old. <laughs> that's not old. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. The, I, when my, my parents visited uh, me in Prague, Like I was pointing to buildings and saying this building is more than twice the age of the United States. This building is even older than European settlement of North America. And they're like, wow. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, this was built in the 13 something or another. Yeah, Yeah, exactly. 
And so on December 7th, 1787, like, that's not old. <laughs> and of course, you know, the modern state of Germany was founded even earlier than that. So mm. in the 19th century. So yeah, it's old is relative. <laughs> but this so, sounds like it'd be really fun to shop in Delaware because there's no sales tax. Yeah. Yeah, no sales tax. That's hard for when here we everything is included. So all the everything there's no separate yep. line for tax. Yep. It's just if it's five dollars, it's five dollars. But when mm -hmm. you go to the states, it's five dollars, and they add tax. And then you look at it and think, but it said five dollars. <laughs> it's very confusing. So I forget when I go back to the states that, that in Michigan it's added. Well, I, I had I had the reverse here when I first moved to Prague when I went to I remember I went to the grocery store to get a box of cereal and I went oh, 125 oh wait no 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 that's like <laughs> okay yeah yeah it's like it's when it's three digits or more you're like what yeah <laughs> the heck it's like exactly yeah 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 so no sales tax that's nice mm -hmm. Hawaii oh, Lulu. yeah yeah So Aloha State. Now, here's something state. I didn't know. I knew that Aloha meant hello or goodbye, mm -hmm. but I didn't know that it was it had more than you know, it, there was more of a meaning behind it than hello and goodbye. Mm -hmm. um, they they use it to express love, affection, peace, and uh, it, it Aloha spirit emphasizes kindness, compassion, mm -hmm. and hospitality towards others. So that to me is a fun fact <laughs> oh definitely and it's our youngest state right on the list. that's right number 50. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. i should have probably added that so people could see when each one well first and last <laughs> <laughs> idaho boise mm -hmm. every time i think of idaho i think of yes Potatoes. Potatoes. Oh, okay. Potatoes. All right. Yeah. <laughs> I thought you were going to say it with me. <laughs> well, now, that, now that I'm thinking of, yeah, but it's been a, it, I don't know if anyone from Idaho is ever going to watch this, but I don't really think of Idaho much. So it's like, but now that you're like, oh yeah, potatoes. Yeah. Those things. Yeah. Potatoes. <laughs> Taters. It's called the gem state. I'm surprised it's not called the potato state because that's what it's really known for. It's called the gem state, but it grows uh, more potatoes than any other state in the U.S. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Fun fact. Yum, yum. Iowa. Des Moines, Iowa. Des Moines, Iowa. Yep. Des Moines. That, yeah, now Moines, that, that is a flag that like the guy who designs flags was about to go on vacation and his boss <laughs> came in and said, you, you can't leave until you put something on the flag. And right. he just threw this at him and walked out for vacation <laughs> well he was saying hmm you've got to change that it looks too no <laughs> you've got to add something mm -hmm. you just put the name of the state on it good job yeah there you go but it also interesting things happened here it's called the hawkeye state mm -hmm. and i wanted to know why it was called the hawkeye state because in honor of chief black hawk i use the leader of the sook native american tribe and i think i mm -hmm. pronounced that correctly if i haven't let me know in the chat box below but i think it's hawk who resisted american expansion into the midwest so he was a fighter and so yeah, we defeated you and destroyed your society, but here we're gonna name nickname the state after you. Um, yeah, and I'm if sure you he'd Google be it, if you Google his name, you get all kinds of different um, artist renditions of what he looked like, and oh. uh, more more history. So if you want to know more about him, just Google him. Um, and remember, but, Ellie students, history is very very good and very interesting and you should always seek to know more about it yeah well i don't know if you can see the he's oop, 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 i can't enlarge it but if oh maybe i can enlarge it this way i don't know if that is i can't see who that is. but anyway <laughs> google him and find out who that is 
Uh, I thought it was mm. the president, but I, it's not the president. I think it's. Uh, well, it looks like he's a, in a military uniform. Yeah, I think military. So, <laughs> put, put him back. Put him back. Um, so yeah, Google him. The interesting person. It's also the Iowa State felt. Iowa State Fair. It's held annually in Des Moines. And it's one of the largest and oldest state fairs in the United States. I've been to a few, several actually, several state fairs um, when I was a kid. And, uh, and they, they were fun places, a fun place to be. I have vague memories of a clam festival in Yarmouth, Maine. I just know that I went there. Uh, well, I lived in Michigan. We had one, and uh, it, it was just for so much to do and see, and it, it was just a lot of fun. And it seems like every fair has a Ferris wheel or mm -hmm. some sort of ride or rides that you can go on. But don't play the games. <laughs> the games are rigged. <laughs> oh, of course. Of course. <laughs> those, those games are rigged, so be careful. Well, it's like, you... like I said in episode one, the house always wins, so you don't want to you don't want to do that. Yeah. If you go to the fair, uh, just be careful with those games. They are rigged. And not in your favor. Of course, obviously. <laughs> okay, next is Kansas. And when you think of Kansas, you think of? Sunflowers. <laughs> We would be terrible at games where you're supposed to finish a sentence. I was thinking either you were going to say Wizard of Oz or Tornadoes. <laughs> How'd you come up with sunflowers? Well, I'm looking at the screen. Sunflowers? Oh, yeah. Sunflowers, yeah. I, when I think of Kansas, I think of Wizard of Oz or Tornadoes. Okay. Topeka is the capital. In fact, mm -hmm. um, I had a friend. I had I I owned a, a pet hotel, and I had a dog that got pregnant. <laughs> Oops, um, and she had some puppies, and one of my friends uh, took one of the puppies, and her son named it Topeka. So every time I I think of uh, or hear Topeka, I think of think of the dog, not the capital. <laughs> I remember a web comic where a character had uh, a phoenix as a pet, and she named it Arizona, Phoenix, ah, Arizona. So that's 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 cool. Yeah. Okay, so it is the sunflower state. So I, you weren't wrong. <laughs> Definitely the sunflower state. That's the other reason why I said sunflowers. It's like yeah, <laughs> but it would be funny if their flag had a tornado on it, because <laughs> they do get a lot of tornadoes. Yeah, but um, that. That'd be kind of like the White Star Line saying we're the ones who had the Titanic. I don't think you want to advertise the bad part like that. I know, I know. I know. <laughs> come to <laughs> come and see the tornadoes in Kansas. <laughs> yeah, New York doesn't say come see where the Twin Towers were. I mean, it, they usually leave that part, you know. Yeah. So. Yeah. Anyway, they, look, they're they're as shocked as as I am that we're getting off topic. Who are the, who are these? delightful people oh uh they're characters from the wizard of oz and mm -hmm. the house the the actual dorothy's house um is in liberal kansas liberal kansas is it right liberal no i'm just i'm just <laughs> I'm, I'm just surprised there's a town in kansas called liberal it'd be like conservative california oh right okay <laughs> now i'm with you mm -hmm. <laughs> Next one is Louisiana, Baton Rouge. All right. That's an inter interesting flag. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay, in my mind, this is what I'm thinking. Here, here's a, the bird with, with blood. Like, was is, is the baby? <laughs> That's also why they're shocked. Baby I want blood. to enlarge this. Yeah, do you see that? I do. Okay. So my mind went there for a second. Mm -hmm. Okay, so in Louisiana, uh, it's called the Pelican State. Um, it's known for its Creole and C Cajun cultures, Mardi Gras, mm -hmm. and jazz. I love jazz. I, 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 uh, I've listened to a few jazz concerts. It's not my first go-to, but my father really liked jazz, and uh, an acquaintance of mine 
took me to a concert in New York once, but um, mm-hmm. I would like to go go to New Orleans at some point to just oh, see the culture. Yeah, say that again. New Orleans. New Orleans. Yeah, that's how they how they say it. New Orleans. New Orleans. Mm-hmm. I say New Orleans. Some people say New Orleans. So it depends on what part of the country you you're in. I guess that mm. tells you what how to say it. Or I've dialect. always said New Orleans. New Orleans. I've said New Orleans. Yeah, mm-hmm. I've heard people say New Orleans, and I can't say no. I can't New Orleans. No. New Orleans. New Orleans. Yeah. New Orleans. <laughs> so, so. Probably because of all the, the that shape, too. I probably because of all the shapes uh, check forces my tongue to twist into. I can say it. Mm. I'd like to go. I've never been. Um, the the architecture there is just gorgeous. Some of their older buildings here, mm-hmm. just gorgeous. So uh, a viewer just messaged me that he thinks the pelican on the flag doesn't have food, so she's giving her baby's blood. Thinks it's right, a myth. He remembers that in his country that they use that image for their blood donation service. Ah. Yeah, I didn't think it was food. I thought it was blood, too. I just didn't know why they would be giving um, giving blood. <laughs> mm-hmm. But yeah, I now I didn't know they use that for a, a, a symbol for blood donation in what country? Uh, well, he's from Ireland. So from Ireland. OK. Fun fact. <laughs> OK, Maryland. International fun facts. Yeah, international fun facts. Ooh, part. <laughs> yeah uh maryland that's an interesting flag mm-hmm. annapolis annapolis is what i heard annapolis i've always heard annapolis i almost went to college in baltimore i don't remember the school but it was on my list oh but so i was i've been in baltimore once and i just remember being in baltimore well i i think um it, it'd be a nice place to live okay it's uh it's an old the nickname is old line state or free state it's known for blue crabs Mm -hmm. crab cakes um i I like seafood and the city of baltimore maryland is home to america's first cathedral the basilica of the national shrine of the assumption of the Mm -hmm. blessed virgin mary boy put that on a business card I was trying to think what the acronym would be. B N S A B V M. It's a really long name, but that, there's there's a picture of it. I'd like to see what it looks like inside. Mm-hmm. So there's another thing that can be googled. Googling is fun. Yeah, I'm Boston. smarter because of YouTube and Google. <laughs> Boston. Boston, yeah, Boston, yep. Boston, Massachusetts, Massachusetts. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it, it, this is funny. When I was a kid, I heard people say Massachusetts. So you hear a lot of Native Americans or Native speakers, Native Americans, Native speakers. You'll hear some say Massachusetts, and it's actually Massachusetts. Mm-hmm. Massachusetts. It's with a chew, not a not a t. But if if you go to the states, you might hear someone say Massachusetts. Mm-hmm. Oh, Massachusetts. I've always heard Massachusetts. Yeah, I don't, I've heard Massachusetts. And it's like, no, it's Massachusetts. It's called the Bay State. It's home to Harvard University. Now, I did not apply there. <laughs> Me neither. <laughs> it's the oldest institution of higher education in the United States. And Boston cream pie. Yum, yum. Which is the, which is the official dessert. Um, it's the official dessert, uh, and and it's delicious. And if yes. you want to know what a Boston cream pie is, there are a lot of recipes on how to make one or bake one um, on YouTube. But, yes, yeah, it's, it's a cake with this cream and chocolate, and it's delicious. Yum, yum. Yum, yum. And, of course, uh, somewhere my father would be very angry at me if I didn't remark that uh, the Boston Red Sox are in Massachusetts. They were his favorite team and they play out of Fenway Park, which is the uh, 
oldest active baseball field in the United States. Ah. It was op- it was open the same week the Titanic sank. In <laughs> fact, that was still the main headline, and underneath it said Fenway Park opens today. Bad day, bad day for opening. Well, um, you know, my father was more annoyed about the fact that Fenway Park is still there and active. He complained it was way too small and way too old. Oh, right, right. There, there have been rumors of a new field, but at the same time, they don't really want to shudder and get rid of Fenway Park. It's just too iconic and historic. So, yeah, yeah, I understand. Hmm. I was in Chicago when they redid uh, Wrigley Field. Wrigley, yeah. Yeah, they tore that down, and I, I'd been to Wrigley, and and um, I haven't been to the new one, but the, the new one is massive. You drive by it, it's just, it's 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 huge. Well, in huge. in New York, in New York, they built the new Yankee Stadium next to the old Yankee Stadium, then they tore the old one down, but they left like a couple of little artifacts. Mm. Um, but I I could see Yankee Stadium from my apartment in Manhattan. And if, if the weather was just right, I could hear cheers on summer nights from, you know, the, the, the games. Nice. nice. Yep. Mississippi is next. Mm-hmm. Jackson, Mississippi. Uh, Magnolia State. So Mississippi River. River. <laughs> Mississippi. The, Missis- the, 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 the Mississippi River is the longest river. <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, yeah. So I, I've put a map here just to kind of give you an idea uh, how long it is Mm -hmm. really really long empties out into the gulf of mexico Mm -hmm. and as i said in episode one it kind of divides the country in terms of uh call signs for tv and radio so if you're east of the mississippi it's w if you're west of the mississippi it's uh k so, so in Los Angeles, radio stations will start with K, but in New York, they'll start with W. Okay. Interesting fact there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, if you want to see part one of the fun facts, uh, I'll post that in the description box below. Brad, you've mentioned in part one, so I just wanted to remind our viewers that that will be in the description box. Oh, yeah. Feel free to watch our previous ramblings. They're quite entertaining. Our yeah, previous ramblings, yeah. We should call our, 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 whatever this is, live stream that. Ramblings? Ramblings. English ramblings. Okay, English I ramblings. like that. Yeah. Do that. Uh, Missouri. Mm-hmm. Jefferson City. Mm-hmm. It's the show me state. Now, I had to find out why why it's called the show me state. Uh, but apparently, a Congressman Willard Van Diver mm-hmm. uh, gave a speech in 1899. Mm-hmm. And part of that speech says, I am from Missouri. You have got to show me. <laughs> so they adopt that as their nickname, <laughs> the show me state. I, I just see that as like they're just being condescending to him. But now it's like, OK, yeah, you're the show me state. Yeah. Uh, St. Louis hosted the 1904 Summer Olympics. It was the first Olympic Games held in the United States. Mm-hmm. It's also home to the Gateway Arch. Because it was seen as the gateway to America. That's where Lewis and Clark departed on their expedition to the Pacific. Right. In, in, in fact, that's also a show me because Thomas Jefferson basically sent them saying, show me what's over there. Because <laughs> he was also an amateur scientist, so he was very excited to see all the cool stuff they had to show him. <laughs> and I and I bet if you lived there, to say that was kind of you know, well, show me. <laughs> We're in the show me state. Show me. Mm. Yeah, this this monument is man made, so it's it's a man made monument. It's the tallest in the United States. People built it. Yeah, big arch. Yeah massive mm-hmm. montana montana capital mm-hmm. helena helena mm-hmm. interesting flag mm-hmm. treasure state big sky country home to glacier national park a lot of these states are very proud of their national parks so you might see uh, quite a few of these 
uh, states with uh, national parks. Mm -hmm. But it's known for its national parks. Well, for now, I mean, in, in 50 years, kids will go, what was a glacier? Right. And when I looked for, for photos of it, it, it's like, it looks more like a mountain than a glacier. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Oops. Yeah, oops. So I, I believe at one time these were just all snow covered. Yeah. Nebraska. Lincoln, Nebraska. Cornhusker State. Home to the world's largest indoor rainforest. This is something that's interesting. This is like a biodome, right? I, I would imagine so, because when I think Nebraska, I don't think rainforest. Yeah, no, I don't either. And some of the pictures that I, I had a hard time deciding what picture to mm -hmm. put here because there are some really cool photos of this place. So again, Google it. <laughs> so I guess Henry Dorley was just like, shut up, I'm rich and just had them do it. Is that, is that, was that what happened here? Or? Yeah, I, well that, and I think he wanted to bring some of that to the u.s i mean i'm some of these things weren't you know native not native to the rain you know they're native to a rainforest so I'm, he probably just wanted to bring some of those animals and things to <laughs> americans are just kind of as a society we did it because we can or we thought it was cool <laughs> you know like you give them two bombs they smash them together and they say it exploded twice as fast. I mean, that's kind of <laughs> how I think Americans are. Well, I think a lot of rich people in the U.S. are crazy. I think oh, you have all that money, you know, it's like, yeah. spread the love, <laughs> share the wealth. <laughs> and I know, I know people say, well, we work hard for my I understand that. I understand. Mm, of course, of course. Okay, I'm not going. I'm not going to get into that because then we start talking about politics. So let's go oh, to yeah, New Hampshire. Yeah. Let's go to New Hampshire. Yes, <laughs> the Capitalist Concord. And uncle live. Oh, you, your aunt and uncle go there. Okay. My aunt and uncle live on yeah, right near the Vermont border. Okay. It's known as the Granite State because of all the granite formations and quarries that they have. And, and New Hampshire is the. Hmm? I was going to say, Ellie students should, should Google the old man of the mountain. This was a natural geographic formation that looked like um, an old man's face looking out over Franconia Notch. It's called the old man of the mountain. And uh, I think back in 2003, it, uh, it collapsed because it was just old and worn. But if you go uh to the uh state today it's still on signage it's still like a logo uh it was like a real national i uh state icon and and when it collapsed people people were genuinely sad i still mm -hmm. remember seeing it i still remember seeing it and like driving past it and it turned back into just a chunk of rock because it's it's all about perspective mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but it was pretty cool mm. I'm, I'm, I'll Google that as well. <laughs> old man of the it's in or of the mountain, but if you if you Google Old Man Mountain, New Hampshire, you'll you'll see it. The Old Man of the Mountain. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, New Hampshire is also the only state in the U.S. with no mandatory seatbelt or motor motorcycle helmet laws for mm. adults. For adults, they they do them for children, but not for adults. Yeah, I mean, uh, New Hampshire and Vermont are just kind of the, like, the, like, we do our own thing, we're independent, we're just gonna do it our way. And uh, a lot of people find that charming. But funny thing is, they're also <laughs> two of the smaller, least populated states. So maybe... <laughs> I, I, for those living in the UK, they're probably familiar with uh, Carl Pilkington. Pilkington. <laughs> <laughs> you know that Carl. Pilkington. I know him very well. I watched a lot of his uh, uh, Ricky Gervais stuff. Yeah. Yeah, he has a whole thing about seatbelt laws and and you know, uh, not having 
you know, the government say write on a piece of paper, you must, you know, wear a seatbelt. It's like, why? Why do you wear a helmet? But my dad died because he didn't have a helmet on. You didn't tell. Why should I have to tell me? This is the whole thing of where Ricky I can, plays I can, the, the I can hear Ricky and, Gervais's laughter already listening to this. Yeah. Um, yeah. And Ellie, you should watch their English lesson. They do an English lesson together. And it is. I've seen that one, too. Yeah, I've, I've seen, seen that one, too. And yeah. it's fantastic. Yeah. Hilarious, hilarious. <laughs> when someone thumps you, thumps. Thumps. <laughs> <Yeah>. Oh, no. <laughs> New Jersey, Trenton. Really yeah, being like from New one. York, as I said, I'm supposed to remind everybody that New Jersey is bad. Yeah, but I like their flag. They have a pretty flag. Okay. Garden State. New Jersey has the most diners in the world. Okay. In the world. Not just the mm -hmm. U.S., but in the world. <laughs> there's something to be proud of uh for those that don't know what a diner is it's just a small restaurant that serves mm -hmm. primarily what burgers fries Yum, good, good stuff right like what nope. we call american food <laughs> camera just went crazy no oh, yay there we go all right <laughs> But uh, yeah, hamburgers, hot dogs, uh, breakfast food, pancakes, mm -hmm. waffles. So you it, it would think uh, American type food, fast food. Yeah. Well, um, I mean, uh, Tony Soprano liked to go to diners. So. Uh... Right. <laughs> the gangsters. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, some of these places are also called the uh, Greasy Spoon. A Greasy Spoon. Yep. Doesn't mean that they have greasy spoons. It just means that they're more of a home cook kind of vibe and and not uh, a chain. Yep. So it's more more home cook, like kind of mom and pop. Yeah, like, mom you know, and pops. Yeah. mom and pop stop shops. <laughs> Less McDonald's, more owned by the you know someone else. Yeah. Right, right. Mom and pop restaurants. Mm -hmm. So if you ever hear a greasy spoon, it doesn't mean the food's bad. It just means that it's not a chain. Ah. Oh. oh, I went too fast. Yeah. Okay. Uh, New Mexico, Santa Fe. And when you think of New, New Mexico, you think of? Aliens. aliens. Yeah. <laughs> I gave it away. Bad teacher. <laughs> he he looks very disappointed in you. I know. What? You gave mm. it away. <laughs> yeah. Roswell. Mm -hmm. I, think, I think I think everybody has heard of Roswell, New Mexico. Um, theories about alleged, it. Alleged, alleged UFO there. crash. Yeah. Exactly. Alleged. As, as I mentioned in part one, I don't think anything happened. I think that happened. I really do. You do? I do. There's too much cover up and too yeah. I, well, I, here's the thing. It was a cover up, but not what you expect. Uh there was uh, a guy who was like obsessed with Area 51, Nevada, the air base there, Groom Lake, and he goes to the information officer, and the information officer is like, Oh, I have to tell everything now. And he says, You're hiding aliens, aren't you? And the information officer says, yeah, yeah, you got us, you got us. <laughs> and, and and that's how the whole thing started. It was to cover up what's really at Area 51, which is like super secret aircraft. Oh, okay. um, no, I don't think anything happened in 1947 because um, the U.S. government has had trouble hiding the tiniest things, um, including stuff that isn't G-rated, let's just say that. Uh, I very much doubt they would be able to hide the biggest news story in the history of the world. Well, I saw a, a documentary on this incident and the there's a famous, uh, I don't know if I can pull it up fast, uh, picture in, in a newspaper of a guy holding up what they called a weather balloon. Yep. And he was in the military and he's holding up um, this what they said was a weather balloon and the look on the the military man's face was like seriously and and the man that was in the picture was speaking uh, about that photo saying that it wasn't a weather balloon what they found was not a weather balloon and and i found that interesting that that here was a man that was 
it was his picture in the newspaper and he was saying it wasn't a weather balloon so if it wasn't a weather balloon what was it and he said it was some sort of craft so well I mean, yeah i'm one of those things you know i think it's a possibility however even if it were a craft it doesn't mean it is visitors from another planet that's that's a bit of a leap for me it's like <laughs> you see the weird lights in the sky Hmm, I don't know where that what that is, and that's where our conversation stops until we get more information. Wouldn't you agree or disagree, Ellie, to tease a <laughs> topic? I'm afraid I'm going to have to disagree with you. I think that's something more than uh, I think it's something that is not of this world. <laughs> agree to disagree, indeed. Agree to disagree, right? And mm-hmm. and next. Uh, next the next live stream we're going to be doing agree and disagree maybe maybe this might be one of the topics <laughs> i was actually going to suggest maybe this should be what we do so we agree or disagree on something mm-hmm. but i i do want to focus on agree or disagree to help students when they are answering questions for those uh, cambridge exams sure uh, and and to help them with uh phrasing phrases okay. mm-hmm. <laughs> of how to state their opinion and express their ideas um, but that'll be uh, our next live stream well, to agree the alien time. looks upset we're dawdling so maybe we should see what the next next one is. there we go <laughs> yeah north carolina mm-hmm. and the capital oops raleigh raleigh mm-hmm. um the tar heel state mm-hmm. old north state North Carolina is home to the oldest public university. Mm -hmm. Yeah. North Carolina at Chapel Hill, University of North Carolina. Mm -hmm. It was established in 1789. Wow, that's so old. (laughs) Mm -hmm. One of my favorite comedians, Louis Black, went to Chapel Hill. Mm. Has one of the top ranked academic programs. And, and yeah particularly the Tar Heel basketball team. Well, yeah. Beautiful. It's a beautiful mm-hmm. campus. I, I, I saw a lot of pictures um, and it looks like a beautiful place. North, to go, North Dakota, the capital is? Bismarck. 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 <laughs> the reason why I'm laughing is a Simpsons joke. The Simpsons are watching Jeopardy And uh, the question is, this North Dakota city is named after a German leader. And Hitler, uh, Homer goes, Hitler. And Marge says, Hitler, North Dakota? (laughs) (laughs) Oh, no. (laughs) Oh, yes. I I didn't really watch a lot of Simpsons. I Mm. I have a hard time with the family dynamic there. (laughs) (laughs) Well, I haven't Peace watched The Simpsons Garden. in 20 years, so. Pardon? I haven't watched The Simpsons in over 20 years, so. 20 years. This one has years. stopped being funny. Anyway, go ahead. Uh, Peace Garden State, Rough Rider State, home to the International Peace Garden. And it's uh, home to a, a botanical garden. It, it looks beautiful, but I'm partial to the Dow Gardens in Midland, Michigan. Uh, you ever get a chance if you're ever in midland michigan you should go see the dow gardens oh yeah. that's okay they're both inferior to the brooklyn botanic Gardens, so it's no, fine no yes. no yes <laughs> agree to disagree there <laughs> oklahoma. oklahoma yeah oklahoma city mm-hmm. now <laughs> another name that the guy was about to go on vacation and said you can't leave until you give us a name <laughs> Sooner State. And I meant to add why it's called the Sooner State. Do you know why it's called the Sooner State? No idea. Yeah, I I, I was going to put that in here. I, I will say that their state meal looks freaking fantastic, but I don't think I could eat all that. Uh, okay, so I just Google it. It says the Sooner State is in reference to the Sooners, settlers who staked their claims in formal former former blah, formerly american uh-huh. indian owned lands until indian appropriations act of 1889 so that's why mm. interesting 
And yes, this is their what they call their diet. Mm -hmm. So they have. Let's see. We'll do, try to do an order. Or okra, which is this. Mm -hmm. This is okra. Uh, squash, which is this. Mm -hmm. Cornbread, which is over here. Barbecued pork, which is here. Biscuits, which are here. Sausage and gravy grits. So this is the gravy, and this is these are the grits. Mm -hmm. Corn, strawberries, chicken fried steak, pecan. Do you say pecan or pecan? Pecan. Ah, see, I say pecan. Pecan pie. Let's call the whole thing off. Pecan pie. Yeah, <laughs> pecan pie. And black eyed peas. So that's their, there's no way I could eat. Mm, maybe when I was younger, but uh, not now. <laughs> don't like okra i like squash but not like that 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 looks mm. really bad that looks really bad <laughs> i like grits but when i lived in kentucky i would eat them with sugar and milk okay. <laughs> and boy did they get mad at me because traditionally grits are you eat them with butter and salt and it's kind of like a porridge it's a porridge mm -hmm. um similar to oatmeal but not quite oatmeal but it's a type of porridge it's more of like mm -hmm. a ricey, like rice kind of. But yeah, uh, I, I would say in Europe, it'd be equivalent to porridge. Mm. Yeah. But I, eat, <laughs> I, I still would eat them with a little bit of sugar or honey and milk. And the okay. people in the South in Kentucky would say, no, butter and salt. And I was like, and pepper. I was like, no, no. <laughs> and never eat them cold. They're disgusting cold. Mm-hmm. Oregon. Oregon, Salem. Now, this is the only state flag that has two sides. It's double sided. That has mm -hmm. two different pictures. So, oh. uh, the Beaver State is known for its stunning coastline, dense forest, and beer. <laughs> Rhode Island, mm -hmm. Providence, Hope, Ocean State smallest now, state yeah this is the smallest we talked about the largest this one is the smallest but it did play a significant role and here's the funny thing when i went to google fun facts there weren't that many fun facts about this state <laughs> well you would think that a fun size state would have lots of fun facts right no no um but yeah so so they did play a significant role and in 1772 rhode islanders staged a daring act of resistance known as the Gaspy Affair. Mm -hmm. It was the first colony to declare independence from British rule on May 4th, 1776, two months before the Continental Congress adopted the Declaration of Independence. Mm -hmm. hmm. South Carolina, Columbia, mm -hmm. Palmetto State, this is apparently haunted, by the way. <laughs> it's the oldest public gardens in the United States, a Magnolia uh, plantation and gardens. Apparently, this is a is very haunted here. Have you heard that? Um, no, but much like aliens, I would be like, uh huh. <laughs> Even ghosts, huh? <laughs> no, I no, I don't. Okay. <laughs> I, I wouldn't be much fun at supernatural events. <laughs> either either rational explanation or some kind of hallucination okay and, and for those small the, that small category that we haven't come up with an explanation yet i just would go hmm that's interesting and then move on <laughs> okay well i'm just telling you what has been stated about the state <clears throat> yes other people have stated mm -hmm. We just had a discussion the other day when we say, well, they said, well, who are they? <laughs> the they. South Dakota. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Capital is? Pierre. 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 That's what I've heard. Mount Rushmore State. Mm -hmm. Okay. So uh, Mount, Mount Rushmore uh, is featuring uh, the carved faces of George Washington. Thomas Jefferson, mm -hmm. Theodore Roosevelt, and Abraham Lincoln. Yep, very good. 
Yeah. This is probably going to be one of the last traces of humanity that will outlive us. Like if we all, like if COVID went really, really bad and we all died out and just the world was left as it was, this would be one of the last things that any aliens would say, hey, there must have been somebody here. Ah, but I have a like, fun fact coming up. Here's a fun fact. Crazy Horse Memorial is a mountain under construction. It's a monument under construction mm -hmm. uh, in the Black Black Hills in mm -hmm. Custer County, South Dakota. And it's uh, Ogallala, Ogallala Lakota Warrior. Ogallala Lakota. That's what I've heard. What? Ogallala Lakota. That's what I've heard. Ogallala Lakota. Mm -hmm. uh, crazy Horse. That's what I know him yes. as. Crazy Horse. <laughs> um and it's going to be of him riding a horse and pointing to his tribal land. Mm -hmm. The sculptor uh, was actually a, a Polish American. Mm -hmm. And of course he's, he's passed away. And unfortunately he's not around to see it, it's completion of it, but there, that's going to be also another thing that lasts for a while. Probably. Yeah. They're, they're still working on it. They're still working. Oh on yeah. It. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, no, it's uh and then from what I understand, the the Native Americans are not happy another mountain is being carved uh, uh. white people, but <laughs> all right, Tennessee. Well, but but it was uh commissioned by a tribal member, which said here. Yeah, it was it was com okay. commissioned by the tribal. Well, I mean, obviously, groups are not monolithic. Uh, one voice, one people, one mind. So this will probably be our last state, though, looking at the clock. So let's make it a good one. Uh, Tennessee, Nashville, Tennessee. Mm -hmm. It's a volunteer state due to the significant number of volunteers from Tennessee who served during the War of 1812 under Andrew Jackson. Mm -hmm. It's also known as the Music City major center for country music mm -hmm. i don't like country music i like okay i i there are there are some singers that i enjoy listening to mm -hmm. but it's not it's not something i i i enjoy i i don't like i wouldn't listen to it i would prefer listening to jazz but like i like reba mcintyre um i like some of dolly parton's songs are are mm -hmm. great but i'm not a big country music fan I can understand that. I don't like heavy metal, but uh, I make an exception for a band called Sabaton because they do uh, all their songs are history beaten. So they're all like, you know, about some historic event or a historic figure. So I like that. Well, I find a lot of country music. That, oh, my wife left me. My dog died and, you know, lost my truck. <laughs> I made a made a joke that if you play the record backwards, you get everything mm -hmm. back. <laughs> <laughs> but let the poor man mourn his truck <laughs> okay so we're going to stop here in utah mm -hmm. how many more slides do i have well i mean i you know my grant my think... parents being from vermont i mean i would like to see what you have for vermont i only have four more slides let's go a little longer today today okay that's fine i can do that uh so there's only four more um we have for utah sure. Now, uh, th one of my YouTube subscribers, shout out to them, uh, l notified me, told me that Utah is changing the, their flag March 9th. Mm. They changed their flag uh, on the 9th this year. Mm -hmm. So it's no longer this flag. And I did a video on flags. <laughs> Mm -hmm. and states and they messaged me said ah oh, you, you made this a little too soon <laughs> mm. so this is the old flag and this is the new one i have to say i think i prefer the old flag yeah me too mm. what are you gonna do oh well uh yep. beehive state symbol for hard work industry community and cooperation that's why mm -hmm. it's called the beehive bees are very hard working um mm -hmm. It, it's home to the Bonneville Salt Flats, right? Yep. yep. Oh, and I, I meant, I meant to delete this. I wanted to have you say, "How flat are they?" 
How flat are they, Ellie? They're so flat and expansive. How flat are they that they have been used for land speed record attempts? Mm -hmm. as, as well as filming scenes for movies. Yeah, I think the Mythbusters did a few things out there uh, when they were still doing it. Oh, you have to go to YouTube and type in Mythbusters. Oh, great, yes. Great, great <laughs> series. Yeah, go to YouTube. Myth, Mythbusters. What, what's amazing is that uh, Adam and Jamie, the people who host the show, were actually not friends. They were just colleagues, but they've both said, no, we respect each other, but we don't hang out. And hang it out. like broke <laughs> everybody's heart. <laughs> Vermont, here's your state. Well, well, not my state. That would be my my parents' your, your state. Your parents' my... state. Okay, I'll let you you take this one. All right. So the capital is Montpelier, which is like the first big city I ever visited in my life. I remember always being excited going to Montpelier. It is known as uh, the Mountain State, and it's also known for Ethan Allen and the Green Mountain Boys, uh, who were a uh, rebel force during the American Revolution. And it is the leading producer of maple syrup in the United States. When I was younger and still with the family uh, for Christmas, uh, I'd always get maple candy because I really, really liked it. Ah, one of my students said that I was wrong. They're like, no, it's Canada. I said, but we're talking about the U.S. Oh, no, maple syrup. <laughs> maple <laughs> yes, syrup, Canada yeah. does make, they do make maple syrup as well, but we're talking about the U.S., and this is the number one, the leading my, producer of maple My syrup. grandparents lived just outside of Montpelier. They lived in a small city called Barrie, which is home to uh, the Rock of Ages quarries. So a lot of the nice granite you see in America and sometimes around the world came from that quarry uh, in Barrie, Vermont. Mm -hmm. We have Virginia next, Richmond, mm -hmm. Old Dominion. It was the first permanent English settlement in North America, Jamestown. Yep was established in virginia in 1607 that's mm -hmm. old it is old Get, getting more towards the european definition of old yes right uh, that, that predated uh, our ancestors coming over on the mayflower west virginia charleston is the capital it's another mm -hmm. kind of another nice flag yep. mountain state new ridge gorge bridge in West Virginia, is one of the longest steel arc bridges in the world. It was completed in 1977. Mm -hmm. Looks quite nice. Could you cross it? Would you drive across that? Sure, Could, why not? Would you... <laughs> I no, would, I, but I, I, I'd, I'd be. <laughs> I mean, white, I, I white knuckles, white knuckles. <laughs> yeah, you know, I mean, I. I... <laughs> My mother is afraid of heights. Uh, one of my long, longest term students is afraid of heights. I'm not. I mean, I wouldn't run up to the edge and, you know, try to climb over the railing. But I mean, I, I could drive that. Well, first, I'd have to be able to drive. But but no, I wouldn't. Be, <laughs> I would I would be OK. Wyoming. Wyoming. Capital. Cheyenne. Cheyenne. Mm -hmm. the, the CH here is with a sh sound. Cheyenne. Cheyenne. That's what I've always heard. Yeah. Um, a little <laughs> slow. <laughs> okay. Quality state or cowboy state. Mm -hmm. Yellow National Park. I, I've always wanted to go there. Actually, it, it's located um, primarily in Wyoming. Yeah. But there's but it, parts it, of it that go into other states. Right. Montana and Idaho. I didn't know mm -hmm. that. I did not know that. Mm -hmm. uh, it's also home to the oldest standing lighthouse. I love lighthouses. Love that. Mm -hmm. uh, it was built in 1803 and it was moved in 1999. So fair, somewhat recent. Mm. Um, but yeah, people still go there. And popular tourist attraction. And I think that's our last one. Yay. Mm. <laughs> so we, we've covered all of the states and some of their fun facts if you want to know more fun facts uh if so Google. actually portland headlight is older it was built in 1791 that was the head that was the lighthouse i mentioned uh in episode one. Oh, okay but it's still one of the older lighthouses yeah i wonder if there's a difference between oldest standing lighthouse i don't know if that well i mean it was completed in 1791 i just checked so Okay. All right. Fact checker, Brad. <laughs> well, I mean, like I said, uh, it was commissioned by George Washington, and 
So I was like, uh, I'm pretty sure Portland is older. Let me check. So, okay. Well, I'll have to edit that later then. But yeah, the national national parks. It's like my students. There are two things that they want to see in America: New York and the national parks. And yeah, national definitely go to some of the national parks. Yep, and New York. That ends our <laughs> our live stream. Next, like I said. Our next live stream is going to be agree or disagree, focusing on those Cambridge exams mm -hmm. where you have to agree or disagree or state your opinion. We'll be helping you with phrases and how to answer questions. Remember, you can't memorize those questions, memorize those answers, answers, but we can help you with some of the phrases and how to get started with some of those answers. And uh, I will post the links that I mentioned here today in the description box as well as timestamps for each of the states. So if you have a favorite state or if you want to review something or fact check something, you can do that easily by clicking on the timestamp. And my students, thank you so much for watching today and I hope you'll come back again. And I have some exciting news. Uh, in April, I'm going to start doing a live stream on Sundays. Uh, I'm not sure it's going to be on the weeks that we don't have a, a Monday live stream. So we'll have a Monday live stream, then a Sunday live stream, then a Monday live stream, and so on. Um, that's going to focus on reading to help you with reading. So if you want to practice your reading comprehension or you know expand your vocabulary, I'm going to be doing a special members only live stream. So if you want to view that or participate in that you'll join the members only that helps support the channel and help to make more live streams thank you so much brad for uh talking with us today and Thanks for having and me as always helping with the facts and fact checking <laughs> no it's, it's always great talking with you and i love oh, your insight you. and your your facts as well very knowledgeable i try Looking forward to to agree or disagree with you on our next live stream. Especially since I think we already know what our topics will be. Exactly. Cool. Yes. All right. Until next time, please keep practicing. Thanks for watching.